So what's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome to another PR Sense uh, commentary, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is PR Sense, uh, fragrances for the common man. And on that note, I've been wondering what to do next uh, as far as the video is concerned. And I was looking back into my, my fragrance journey and I figured what better way to help you guys out than to give you a little lesson in fragrances. Um, what are accords, what are notes, what are flankers? So that way you get a feel for you know what these things all mean and you get a little bit smarter about it. So uh, you know if, if it's something you're interested, stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. I'll talk to you in a minute, bye. Let's do this. Class is in session. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're dealing with fragrances, there's so much to know. And you'll as you go along, you'll start to know them. This is kind of consider this a kickstart um, in terms of getting to know what fragrances mean, what all the different terminology is. And that way, when you go out there and you're talking to people, you know exactly what to say, all right? So first of all, I have to have some of my coffee. Um, let's talk about concentrations. Now, there are a bunch of different concentrations. Um, you know, nowadays, you know, in the old days, I remember my dad would, you know, everything was cologne, 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 cologne. Um, women wore perfume, men wore cologne. And that kind of has changed now. A lot of, a lot of people, myself included, I just call it fragrances, um, you know, scents, um, because you know, there you can call them perfumes as well. I mean, why not? But you know, the concentrations have that those names in them as well, and it gets a little confusing. So, what are some of the, the concentrations? So, you have O Fresh, and O Fresh is a very diluted version of a fragrance. Okay, and the difference between all of these is basically the oil concentration uh, versus the alcohol concentration. So, an O Fresh concentration would have one to 3% oils, uh, perfume oil in it. Maybe last you for about an hour. Um, a cologne, which is also known as an eau de cologne, um, has about two to 4% concentration of oil in it, and that would last you up to about two hours. You get into the eau de toilette, which is, uh, has a concentration of about five to 15% oil, that lasts you maybe about three hours. Uh, and then the heavy hitters are the Eau de Parfum, which would have a uh, 15 to 20% concentration and could last you anywhere from five to eight hours. And then you get into the Parfum uh, concentration, which has about a 20 to 30% uh, con concentration. <clears throat> and that can last you way longer than, than even 12 hours is concerned. Some people say it may last you the whole day if you put it on clothes. Again, remember, Perfumes, fragrances, whatever you want to call them, uh, last a lot longer on drier things that are not human, okay? If you're putting it on your skin, always moisturize, always moisturize. It doesn't stay as long on dry skin, but for some reason or another, on clothes, on your hair, it stays much, much longer. So be careful on spraying your clothes with certain concentrations. Eau de Toilette, um, Oh, fresh, you know, eau de cologne. Yeah, because the concentration of oil is a little lower. But perfume, um, eau de perfume, extrait, um, you don't want to spray those on your clothes, especially if they're light, because the oil is going to stain them. So just be careful with that, okay? Um, the next thing is, uh, and this one gets complicated. I might have to do a video on this one separately. But the, the fragrance family, um, you know, there's florals, there's greens, there's oceanics, there's spicy, there's oriental, um, woody, fruity, citrus, and all of them have their own distinctions, if you want to call it anything. For instance, uh, a floral concentration, um, I mean a floral fragrance would be perfect for women. Uh, if you watch one of my videos before, uh, Latafa's Mali, Latafa's Mali is very floral. 
it, but it smells great and I would wear it because it's got that floral yet ambery musky scent as well. So guys can get away with wearing floral. Don't be afraid of floral. Floral is good. Um, then you have your greens, your oceanics. So for instance, uh, I would say like uh, Versace Eau Fresh to me is, is kind of got an oceanic scent to it. Uh, Nautica Voyage has a oceanic scent to it. It's salty, yet it also has like a green apple in it, which gives it that, that you know, just sweet apple scent and it's beautiful. Um, spicy, Spice Bomb Extreme is very spicy. Um, so you get, you kind of get the idea. And you know, so one of the main tricks of this whole thing is go on Fragrantica and look up the different types of, of scents, you know, of, of uh, fragrances, the greens, the woodies. Um, go to Burlington, buy some cheap fragrances, don't blind buy, but you know, do your reviews, buy some cheap fragrances, look up the notes of the ones you're gonna buy, and let's say you, you think you like woody, then look up the notes for different fragrances that have woods in them, sandalwood, um, uh, like oak moss, um, you know, cedar, those types of things. And then buy one or two and see if you like that. Don't spend a lot of money, but buy one or two and see if that's the scent you like. Like what I said before in one of my previous videos, I love oud and I love uh, leather. My brother hates it. He can't stand it. So you really have to find the the accord, you know, that kind of fits your niche um, and, and then get fragrances that kind of fit that. You know, if you like aquatics, then get, you know, get the aquatics and, and try some of those and then dip your toes into the different ones. Dip your toe into an oud, dip your toe into a, a spicy fragrance and you know, you'll start seeing which ones you like and which ones you don't. Um, the next thing that uh, we'll talk about is, another one too, is gourmand. So gourmand you'll probably hear a lot and gourmand, what that means is they're very, a fragrance that's a gourmand fragrance is very tasty. Um, and if you see some of the videos, you know, uh, especially some of the women, they'll, they'll talk about gourmand fragrances and, um, you know, as far as like women will eat you up uh, because they're, they're tasty. They, they have scents of uh, vanilla, caramel, cocoa, chocolate, uh, butter, honey. Those are gourmand fragrances. Try not to eat anybody, but you know, that's what you smell when a girl or a guy smells you and they're like, oh, you taste, you smell so tasty. Probably is because you're wearing some type of gourmand fragrance. Uh, so let's talk about notes. So fragrances have three tiers of notes. There's the top note, there's the mid, which is also known as the heart note, and then there's the base note, okay? The top note usually will last you anywhere from five to 15 minutes for the most part, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. Uh, and that's the initial blast that you get when you spray it. Um, and a lot of the fragrances you have to be careful because you don't want to like just spray it and then instantly smell it because they'll blow out your nose. Um, there are some fragrances I have that I can't, I have to spray it, wait like maybe one or two minutes and then smell it because it's either very, very spicy and it just goes into your nose and it might give you a headache. Um, so be careful with that. Uh, once it starts to dry down and after those first five or ten minutes it goes down to the mint notes the heart notes <coughs> and the heart notes is where a lot of fragrances live for a very long time uh, that could last you anywhere from one to two hours maybe and sometimes longer and the heart notes you know could be citrus notes aquatic notes um, sometimes woody notes uh, sweet notes and once that dries down, it goes down into the base notes. <coughs> Excuse me. And the base notes is where a fragrance lives for, for a long time. That's where when you hear people say, it lasts me eight hours, it's usually the base note um, is lasting the last four hours or the last, you know, three hours out of the six. So yeah, so the base notes is where the fragrance lives for the most part. Um, between the mid and the base notes and <clears throat> usually the base notes are, get very woody, um, amberish, mossy, musky, you know, you'll, you'll always see those kind of 
uh, categories for, for base notes in a lot of different fragrances. Now, it's very important that a, a fragrance has those three different tiers of notes. Um, a lot of them don't. A lot of them just go from the, the opening to the base and they're very linear. And that's okay, that's, that's not bad. You know, it smells citrusy at the beginning and then it just goes to a straight uh, musky scent. And that's all right. I kind of like when they go, they do this, right? Where they, they go from citrus to aquatic to musky. And, and as you go through the day, or through the six or four, you know, four or six, eight hours of, of wearing that scent, it's like an experience. You, you, at the beginning, you're like, oh yeah, I smell the citrus. And then in the middle of the day, you're like, oh my God, I smell sea salt. And then by the end of it, you're like, I smell amber or, or some kind of wood. That's a nice journey for a fragrance. And you know, that's what I like to smell. Some of them don't do that. So just be aware of that. Um, the other thing too is when you start talking about notes, you'll start seeing a lot of, some, some of the fragrance companies now, what they're starting to do is give you three notes. The top note, the mid note, and the base note. And a note for each one. Um, that's good but there's a lot more notes in there than just those three, but those are the three predominant notes. Um, a lot of other fragrances will give you 30 notes, it's crazy. Um, and then a lot of other ones will give you like two or three at the top, three or four in the mid, and you know, three or four in the base. Um, and some of the notes you'll probably hear are things like yarrow, bergamot, bergamot is a big one. And bergamot is, is considered a very um, citrusy scent, um, kind of similar to lime, but with a floral herbal scent to it. Uh, things like vetiver. Vetiver is another one that you'll you'll hear a lot about. Vetiver is very dry, earthy, woody, leathery, and smoky. Um, lavender. Lavender is floral. Like I kind of always when I smell lavender, I kind of think of rose uh, for some reason or another. Uh, sage is another one. Sage is a, a very strong green note and it's a uh, earthy aroma, it's got an earthy aroma. So patchouli, patchouli is in practically everything. Um, so patchouli is another one, it's sweet, spicy, and musky. So those are some of the, the scents. So that's another thing you should do, start to look at, you know, what uh, kind of notes you like, uh, what kind of notes are in the fragrances you like, and then veer more towards the ones that have those same kind of notes. And, and you know, you should be safe that way. But every now and then, go off the rails and just go get something new. Uh, try it, you know, just give it a shot. On that note, blind buy. So what blind buy means is uh, you go to a department store or you go to one of the rack stores or you even go online and somebody said, oh, I really love this fragrance. And so you go and you blind buy it. You, you haven't smelled it at all and you spend your money and you, you buy it. Sometimes that works out, a lot of times it doesn't. Like I said about my brother, if I would have told him as much as I love the, uh, let's say, Rasasi La Yukawan, and he went and he bought it and he spent 55 bucks on that, he probably would hate it because he blind bought it and it's, it's leathery and he doesn't like the scent of leather, he would have hated it. So he would have blind bought it for nothing. So be careful with blind buying um, because sometimes you, you be unpleasantly surprised. Um, Another thing that, another uh, terminology is anosmic, and you might hear that when you see uh, a lot of reviews on, on YouTube. What anosmic is, when you become anosmic to a scent, is that you spray it on, and for some reason or another, maybe it's too strong, maybe you don't, you know, you, you put on too much, and your nose just stops smelling it. It just says, that's it, I'm done, and it stops smelling it. It doesn't necessarily mean that that scent is gone. You may not smell it, but you might walk into a room and people will be like, what the heck are you wearing? That's way too strong. Or what the heck are you wearing? That smells really good. Um, you know, so your nose just gives up after a certain amount of time. And it does that because it needs to smell everything else around you. So it just, psychologically, it just stops smelling it. But it doesn't mean that just because you went nose anosmic to it, uh, that it's still not on you. So don't go spraying 60 more times. Uh, a lot of times it's still on you, it's still out there, but you just don't smell it. So be careful with that. Uh, another one is flanker. So what's a flanker? 
took me a while to figure that one out when I first got into this. So a flanker is uh, when a company makes a, what becomes a very, very popular scent. Um, and then that scent smell, uh, sells like crazy and they say, well, let's make something different, but kind of the same. So an example of that is uh, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. So they came out with Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb EDT and it was very popular. And so they said, well, let's make something different. And they came out with uh, Victor and Rolf uh, Spice Bomb Extreme. They came out with Victor and Rolf uh, Spice Bomb Night Vision. They came out with Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Infrared. So those are all flankers of Spice Bomb. Um, and you'll see that a lot, you know, you'll see you have, uh, you know, set one, and then you have one A, one B, one C, one D. Some of them come out with like so many flankers. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Some of them are better than the original. And the original would be called the pillar. Um, the pillar would be the one that, that started it all. Um, and there are some, like, I like Spice Bomb, but I love Spice Bomb Extreme better. Um, I think Spice Bomb Extreme is a much better uh, fragrance than Spice Bomb, but that's just my opinion. So that's kind of, you know, the differences. And when you're talking about Pillar, that's the original, the original beauty. And then the flankers are the ones that they've made after that, that have the same name, but a different type of category. Now, another thing that some people will say is, well, is if you have the perfume and then you come out, or the Eau de Toilette, like uh, Davidoff Cool Water or the Toilette, and then you come out with Davidoff Cool Water Extreme or Davidoff Cool Water uh, perfume is that a flanker that's debatable some people say it is some people say it isn't it's just a stronger concentration um, a clone now clone is a spicy conversation some people hate hate clones um, because they just feel that and I'm an artist um, in some of the videos you may have seen some of my art but I'm an artist and I kind of understand it you know if I make if I take hours and hours and hours to make a, a painting and then you go and you make a copy of it and you sell it as your own, um, you're cloning my work and you know, you're, you're taking away from my income. Uh, so I get it, I get that point of view. Um, but I find clones amazing. Uh, one, the fact that they, they can come up with something that smells pretty, pretty darn close to the original. Um, and two is the fact that they can sell it for so damn cheap. Uh, I can't afford to spend $350, let's say, on a Creed Aventus. Uh, I just can't. Uh, so I, but I can afford to spend $35 on a Club de Nuit Intense Man, um, and it smells pretty darn close. Uh, and when I get the money, you know, and when I start making mon more money, I'll, I'll be the first to go out there and buy a Creed Aventus. But in the meantime, you know, a clone is, is suitable for me, and I, I view them more as their own art their own way of making stuff. Now, when you talk about clones, you could also kind of, an, a little niche to that would be uh, inspired by. Now, inspired by is not a clone. Inspired by is they take the Creed Aventus. They say, hmm, I like that scent. I'm gonna use that scent, but I'm gonna give it my own little spin. Uh, so, one inspired by that I would, I think of maybe would be uh, Banana Republic's Black Walnut Legend. Banana Republic Black Walnut Legend smells a lot, especially in the opening and the mid, a lot like Creed Aventus. But then it does its own thing. So it's more like an inspired by, not a direct clone of. And so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a insight as to the, two, the difference between clone and inspired by. Um, the other ones that... Uh, we can talk about our siage, longevity, and projection. So when you see all these reviews, you see me talking about it, we'll talk about longevity, siage, projection. Longevity is how long does it last on your skin? Um, how long can you smell it for? Uh, siage is the scent trail. As you're walking through a room, can people smell you as you, as you go by? Uh, and then projection is how, the scent bubble. How how much, if you're standing in the middle of a room, how many feet does it project? You know, does it project one foot? Does it project two feet? And that's all subjective as well. Um, some colognes, like I would say the one, 
Deutsche, Deutsche Gabbana is the one. Deutsche Gabbana the one doesn't project very, very far. It becomes a skin scent pretty, pretty quickly. But it's an awesome scent. Its longevity is, is nominal. Its longevity maybe to, on my skin, two to four hours, but it's a skin scent. So that's why you'll hear a lot of people say it's a date scent. It's a scent that you wanna be close to a woman or you know, um, and they wanna be close to you and when they put their neck close to you or you're talking to each other, they can smell you. But a person two, three feet away can't. Um, but in some cases you want that date fragrance, right? You want that skin scent. So, you know, Deutsche Gobana the One EDP is perfect for that because that's what it becomes pretty quickly. Um, and then again, like projection is, is how far away can somebody smell you? Uh, and some things last for, you know, longevity slash projection. They last for a very long time. They project for a while. Projection usually is about one to two hours. Longevity could go up to 24 hours in some cases, especially if you, uh, if you spray your clothes. But again, remember, you wanna be careful with that. Now, the other thing is when you buy, especially if you buy online, um, you can get some really good deals online. I would say don't buy uh, at retail stores if you can help it, unless you have the money to just spend. Um, for instance, I bought a Vincent Camuto uh, fragrance at Burlington and I paid, I think it was $19.99 for it. Uh, I went, the next day to Dillard's and I saw it there, it was $60 for the same bottle. Um, and that's what you'll end up spending. You'll, you'll find it online for, you know, 20 bucks and you'll find it at a retail store for $120. Uh, it's just crazy the markup that these people do. So go to sites like FragranceNet, Fragrance X, uh, Triple Traders. There's a whole bunch of sites out there that you could get really, really good prices. Amazon has some prices, uh, some really good prices. Be careful with eBay. Um, a lot of sites on eBay are not real good sites and you'll end up getting a cheap, cheap price for something that shouldn't be that cheap uh, and they'll be uh, fake. So just be careful with eBay, read the reviews, make sure there's enough reviews there that that's, give it positive reviews. And I'm not talking about one or two, I'm talking about quite a bit. Uh, so just be careful with that. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, I know I didn't, you know, it's not a full blown uh, class, but I hope it gave you a little bit more knowledge as to, uh, you know, buying fragrances, what different uh, terminology is when it comes to fragrances. And I hope you learned something from this. If you did, if you like this video, please go to my, uh, go to the button down on the bottom and uh, hit that red subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, comment if you want, let me know uh, your thoughts. Let me know if you'd like to see any type of videos, video reviews, anything like that. Um, and as always, be safe, be loved, and I will talk to you later. Take care, guys. Bye.